these projectiles that spawn incredibly early and just can be really difficult mm -hmm. to deal with, especially if you're playing a contact character like Diddy Kong. Absolutely. So I played Slingshot last week in Bracket. I was really impressed by his general patience, really solid item play, you know, like you'd expect for the character. Yeah. And just uh, a really, you know, uh, I was surprised by the, the level of game sense. You know? Yeah. And I think that's the mark of a player that you really have to, you know, when you encounter someone in bracket and you sense that, it's a real head scratcher. But yeah. He finds himself behind early though. Um yeah, Same. Let's see. Just Ooh. making great use of these early routes, the upper netting them fifty damage to start, now seventy one pushing even further. We love that. Oh, wow, no. the parry off oh, of the he went for the tab lock setup. Okay. Mixing him up right now. Right. Diddy Kong definitely feels lost. Yep. Okay, get some solid ground here. Yeah. Good stuff from Slingshot. Getting a little bit more pressure. Very good timing on the hand there from Zane. Just making it as difficult as possible for Diddy to find mm -hmm. footing. I think it's banana oh, oh, that, that was, was nasty. so tricky. Yeah. Everyone was looking at the banana, right? I didn't even notice the gunman come out. Like I was saying, very yeah. impressive stuff. They're just playing so well right now. Ooh. Very clean. Oh, does eat that can <laughs> to the mouth. I can't not laugh when I see these crazy <laughs> knocking directions. Oh, yeah, it doesn't get the, the killing hitbox, though. It gets hit the other way. Oh, that up air pressure is so scary on a platform. Uh, he tried slow. to. He tried. He thought he was cooler than he was. Gonna recast that banana there, but to no real effect. So <laughs> his pressure string kind of ended. Uh, they find the can out of the corner. Of course, Very good we're talking stuff. About yeah, a classic. Snake grenade. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, wow, another up air onto that platform. Mm. Not going to net a full 50 this time, but the positioning's yeah. still solid. And there's still some shield you know, some shield damage. That matters in this matchup, right? Yep. He still managed to stay composed and get the conversion. Didn't quite kill, but, you know, I would have expected a more panic option in that situation. So, impressive stuff. Zane yeah, it does feel like... Sorry, Zane has all the pace, right? But it still doesn't feel like this matchup is, like, over, even though... Yeah. You know, the percentages are starting to lean that way, right? Yeah, absolutely not. And especially with a recovery like Duck Hunt's, uh, Diddy Kong can actually really just get things rolling, especially if he's able to find that down throw double back air like we're seeing right here. Mm -hmm. Doesn't just quite get the, the thing, full right? push. Very good can positioning. Almost finds that Nair into Dare reset on the ledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but really impressed by Slingshot's composer here, though. Yeah. You know, uh, dealing with the can pressure a little better. Oh. Just as I say that. Oh, nice. Very clean. Just red in a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if going for the banana there is great, though. But. Ooh. All right. Have to be careful going for any empty input mm. on that platform. Duck on up air just covering so much space once again. Yeah. I think Slingshot is going to have to start landing in a much more respectful fashion. Yes. Uh, trying to get a little too cute, right? You think you'd be able to master it, but Zayn is just mixing up these punishes. Like, you know? Yeah. That timing? When, when was that hit going to come? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> it just came. Yeah, especially if you don't know what the gunman rotation is like and how different their timings are on the shots and you're looking for parry on gunman, things can get really harsh. Yeah. A lot of pressure Ooh. from Zane. Uh, Slingshot finding a very nice a slow flip. Yeah, and now Ken flip. is not part of this equation. Ah, but Zayn gets that over it. So those are the times you really got to capitalize the match if you got to be scared. Mm. Losing such a great aerial defensive resource, Zane steals out the stock. Yeah, they just keep finding these great anti-airs. It's netted so much reward this game. <sighs> that last hit of Clay Pigeon, massive, but Slingshot going to just find that dash attack through. Yeah. Hard for Duck Hunt to press buttons Ooh. there that are as good as Diddy Kong. secure this ledge trap? Oh, no, he gets the buff of spot dodge. Oh. Trade on the projectile. Now you got to start panicking a little. Panicking a little. That ledge trap scenario was crucial. But... What can do. Almost finds that reset, oh. but fast falls oh. a little bit too early. Hmm. Was that like a? I don't. I don't even know what F smash hitbox came out over there. And why it did so little knockback. Good oh. pressure from Zane. Almost oh. finds that landing trap, but once again, one of these slow, methodical monkey flips coming from Slingshot, just taking mm -hmm. his time landing. Oh, uh, gets a little mixed up there. Oh my god, Survivor 173, right? This is yeah, their DI has just been incredibly good here. Mm -hmm. This is something that both of these characters are kind of willing to do, right? Play this grinder, but being on the being on the other side for either of them is, is super painful, right? Yeah. What is Diddy Kong going to do? Especially these characters, it can seem like they kill early when they're finding their conversions, but exactly. if they're not 170, the Diddy at 179, like, yeah, yeah you're going to... You could DI out that, right? You'll, yeah. you'll, you'll get it in time. Yeah. 
And yeah. it, it's just, it could be difficult for them to find that actual straight hit that pulls everything together. But, mm -hmm. and we see. Exactly. I, I, mean, right? I, I feel like Diddy's average kill percent ends up being somewhere around like 140 sometimes, unless they're finding the really mm -hmm. good early yeah. nair dares or. Uh, or banana, the, banana up smash, yeah. down up smash, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It is really, you know, but the character racks up damage so well when they're moving that it feels like you're losing your stuff quickly, right? Yes. It's like uh, you're in the vortex. Yeah. Oh, nice covered oh, there. But you gotta, you know, the can is just like the can is just too close to the competitors. Yeah. I would try and focus more on get the can out of here, and then all of a sudden, you know, he has other mix-up projectile options. But I think that's gonna kind of be the key. Maybe just like F tilt that off the other side of the stage or something. Yeah. And, Make uh, your F tilt meteor to consume that space, perhaps, mm -hmm. so that they can't break in. Yeah, but I'd like to see more. Yeah, already. Can not a factor right now, and we'll see. You know, Zeta's so much more limited, right? He can be so threatening and disadvantage with an inactive can, and he could be making it impossible to land when can is on the stage between you. So, right? Okay. Still, he made a good choice in terms of movement, but you know, he committed into going for that banana, even though it was going to be covered. Back at the ledge here, though, Ooh. Zane does find their way out. Oh, that grab is going to be huge. Big uh, conversion amazing. there. 85% almost death. Another can reset. All right. Yeah, it brings it back. He's like, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Gets the up there. All right. Yeah, okay. See, now, exactly. Very Great time to go in. Yep. You kind of... Yeah, he's getting used to the beats and the rhythms, right, of the zoning yeah. patterns. Important to recognize, in particular, Ooh. when you're allowed to look for those monkey flips as Diddy Kong to break that space, because that button can just be so omnipresent sometimes. Ooh, the great timing by Zane. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. You'd think he was maybe looking for something more, though. Mm. Ooh. Oh, got a buffer dash attack. The worst feeling, right? Yeah. All right, but let's see how he kind of recovers from that. Oh. Yeah, see? So quick no with that. one dying yet. That can very good stuff. Knows that Slingshot is fishing for that backer off stage. Slingshot does oh, find his way in. Oh, great job by Zane putting the can in the middle. Will he get that? Oh, he got he got them. Yeah, they definitely have those on deck. They have those. Sorry. All right. Big push here. Breaks the clay pigeon. So Zane doesn't actually find the conversion here. 192 though. Kill percent mm -hmm. for Diddy Kong just looking so harsh yeah. right now. And for especially characters like this that have a solid, reliable neutral, right? Yep. Some good, solid buttons. Switching your neutral to get this kind of straight hit game plan is really difficult. Exactly. And not only good neutral buttons, because we see a lot of characters who have that, who can still struggle with Diddy Kong, but buttons that in particular can be a bit of a struggle for Diddy Kong to deal with. That can, that clay pigeon, the gunman, all having yeah. actual hurt boxes to eat the hit of banana can make things scary for Diddy mm -hmm. Kong. And even like the disjoints with like fair. Yeah. Fair and dash attack in yeah. particular can be really difficult for Diddy to do. Those full extension beats. Almost Dango. finds that Donna conversion. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, that move as a combo starter is just so disgusting in this game. Yeah, and saying, you know, make you sweat every time you get hit by that. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. big Ooh. banana. Wow, yeah. very good spacing on that F smash there. You do there. love to see those mix-up F smashes, right? Because that you're not really threatening with a kill move at that kind of range. Yep. Your opponent gets so comfortable in that little, you know, mid-range area. Yeah, exactly. Love and that. there's just so much going on there, too. Just exactly. very low-key. You have the can sitting on the platform right above. And just any timing can make that really scary. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Go for another dash attack. Yeah, okay. Everyone's cooling down right now. Mm-hmm. Both players have realized that they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, they're both playing it a little slow here. Some of these interactions mm -hmm. have been wacky. It's funny. You always see, like, two to three Smash Ultimate interactions happen in a row, and then both players are right. Okay. like, all right, let's just disengage, yeah. figure out what game we're playing. You know, I need space. Yeah. Ooh, oh, big wow. cans there calling out these monkey flips and essential mm -hmm. spots. Slingshot's gotten used to getting those for free. I still feel like Slingshot's in a pretty good position if you can kind of secure stuff off of one, of the, one, one or two next directions. Yeah. Uh, oh, that Ooh. kind of a backdoor opportunity there. I like that Z drop bounce off the hurt box of the can. Very smart stuff by Zane. Doesn't quite find oh, anything wow. off of it, but they are going to low profile with the up smash approach. Mm -hmm. Very good stuff. Cleaning yeah. that game up. A nice 2 0. Making the aerial whiff. Yeah. Right? Using that little crouch. Good options, right? You didn't see that move oh, at all, right? Until it was time. <laughs> until it was time for it to pay the bills. Right? Yep, exactly. <laughs> Same thing with the F smash. Yeah, a lot of these buttons just, I mean, you really 
won't ever see them more than once or twice, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're not the most consistent. They're not things you want to be looking for all the time. But Zane finds these niche situations where they're almost the perfect option. Mm -hmm. I do. I do love the way that they see the game. Actually, yeah. from a just the when you see someone who has that willingness to just always grind stuff, always learn more, uh, but also take a kind of a creative approach to neutral yes. and. When people, their predilections are more characters like Duck Hunt and uh, items and those kind of things. Yeah. You can really see some fascinating stuff. Oh, my God. It's interesting because what you give up in terms of frame data or just, like, in time, at times, buttons that are as good by themselves as Banana, you get in this ability to cover space, this ability to access a game plan that not many people are not only used to, but that they don't get to engage with very often. Mm -hmm. So you really get to break people's heads apart and pick yeah. them slowly and figure out, okay, what setups are you responding to properly? What setups are you not responding to at all? What setups are actually present in your mind? Which of these options are you thinking about stopping? Have you thought about stopping Can properly as much as you've thought about stopping Gunman? Okay, I'm allowed to use Can more. 